Hi, Tim here. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, as I said, you can virtually take me home with you. I'm just going to give you a few hints, tips and advice on using your slicer. Uh, remember, it's got a very sharp blade. Okay, It's that that makes it work. It's the most important part. This demonstration here is really on how to use it. It's not actually designed to sell you it because you've already probably bought it. Now that goes in there like that, you get a thin slice. You know that because it's got a straight line. If you turn it over, the weekly line will give you a thick slice. We'll start off with thick slicing. Remember, you never ever use the machine without the unique safety guard. It has five stainless steel prongs, directional arrows. The platform is only for getting the last piece out. Just pop whatever you want to slice on there like so. And all you do now, very simply, is glide from top to bottom. The most important thing is you always use the full length of the cutting board. And if you take my advice, don't look here, look where you're going. That way you'll get a nice even flow. Remember it's not force or strength. When you're not getting any more, you touch this button. Now some people hold this, I don't know why, because it's ergonomically designed so you hold it like that. Always make sure your fingers are obviously inside the guard and by touching that button you now go right the way down to the very last piece. Now that's got a very soft center, a very tough skin. Let's do something, everybody always asks this about onions. I've got a nice red onion here. Red onions always look great, don't they? Look, here you've got a nice thick slice of onion. You rustle out the centers, remember? But they're all the same thickness. That's the wonderful thing about it. But if you turn it over for a nice wafer thin slice of onion, remember just by touching the button, there you've got a nice wafer. Thin. Just a little trick I'd like to show you that we don't cover in the demonstration, because we don't get time. If you make a cut across there like so, you'll now get these lovely onion halves. This could be, if you're doing a curry, or you'd smile to put these on a salad, especially these lovely red onions, absolutely superb. Now remember it is super sharp, so if you wanted to slice something soft, because remember it will slice the majority of fruits and vegetables with no trouble at all. And if you want a nice wafer thin slice, say from a salad or a sandwich, you know where you just want to get this lovely wafer paper thin slice. If you load these on a sandwich, remember as many as you want. When you bite them, they don't shoot out the side at 90 miles an hour. Now, a lot of people say to me, will it slice down a potato? I've got a nice little potato here, say doing a dauphinoise, a layonnaise. Or you might want to do your own vegetable or potato crisps. Once again, use the full length. Don't use force or strength. It will slice perfectly. Now that's how you can slice. Because we've sliced soft and hard and large and small there. If you want to do something small, and I'm going to pick on a button mushroom. It might be a glazed cherry. You might want to do a, a strawberry for on top of a gatto or pudding or a trifle. Now if you place these on that way, you only get out what you expose to the blade. The most important thing to remember about the machine, it is purely a knife in a box. Where you're taking the fruit and veg to the knife, as opposed to the knife to the fruit and veg. You put it on that way, it's going to slice it that way. So if you want perfect mushroom halves, say you might want to put these in a casserole, could be for topping off a pizza, it really doesn't matter. Just look at that, there you've got a perfect result. That is amazing. So a lot nicer to use the fresh ones than the ones you buy. Now to shred cabbage, other people actually have to shred cabbage, if it's long or large, you can use your hand. When it's small, use the safety guard. Okay. I'll just start this off, and I wouldn't go much further than that. There you've got that lovely shredded, fine, fine shred of cabbage. It will do lettuce as well, but only cut the lettuce in half. And do remember, if you're doing lettuce on here, it won't go brown or black. This is lovely done with a little black pepper. Stir some cream into it before you serve it. You might want to do a homemade coleslaw. So that's how you can shred. So that's your slicing, thick and thin. It really is that easy. Let's just put that to one side, just one second. Now let's take this slide here, the one with big teeth. You'll notice that these lock in here. To take them out is very easy. You just lift and pull, as it says, and the slide itself. Now we're going to make you some homemade chips. And one or two of you do have a little bit of trouble with chips because you think you're going to need excessive force or pressure. Well you're not, you're dealing with very sharp blades and all you do very simply is place the potato onto the safety guard and all you do now very simply is start at the bottom, remember to aim for there, don't press this way, you just glide it from top to bottom and as you pass that blade with a nice positive action you will get perfect chips. By touching the button you now go right the way down 
to the last piece. And there you've got perfect chips. It really is that easy. If it sticks in any way, shape or form, so you're doing carrots in this way, batten carrots and things like that, and you find you get a little, it'll stick a little bit, it shouldn't do if you're not using a nice positive force, but if you do find it sticks, don't start pressing. The machine is very, very strong and robust. Give it a little tap, it will go through. That's how you can do a batten of carrots, very easily and very, very simply. And look, if you do those, a little bit of butter as well. I love butter. Now, how about this look? Now, if you want to dice anything, that's very easy as well. I'm going to dice down a tomato, and I'm going to dice down a little bit of cucumber. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the cucumber to length. Okay? All you do very simply, just took that down like that. So what I'm going to do is a lovely Greek salad. It could be a homemade salsa. Place this end on here because this is the bit you don't want. Okay? And that's the only little bit of waste you'll get. But if you want to dice anything, you've got these directional arrows. If you just take a sharp knife, and if you just tuck down through the guard, so, now you'll dice that tomato to absolute perfection. There's the bit you didn't want, and there you've got your dice of tomato. The same with the cucumber. All you need, look, a couple of cuts across there. Now you can dice anything down like this, obviously. You dice down potatoes. It's just that a lot of people think this is very hard to do, and it's not at all, because there you've got that lovely dice. Look at that, it's a beautiful Greek salad, it's done in seconds. So that's how you do that. Now, on the other hand, if you're doing something leafy, let me get a little bit of celery for you. If you're doing something leafy, it could be celery, it could be leek, it could be onion, it could be red or green pepper, it really makes no difference to us. Run this through here like so. Just look at that, absolute perfection. Now, if you take that slide out, we've got one last slide we'd like to show you, and it is pretty obvious. Big teeth do a big chip and a big chop. Little teeth will do a little chip and a little chop. Once again, they lock in there like so. And people absolutely love these. Now, if you put this straight on, remember you only get out, what I said about the mushroom, you only get out what you're exposed to the blade. So if you put that straight on like that, you get these lovely short little sticks. If you put it on lengthways, you get these lovely long sticks. These are lovely in a stir fry, you've got to boil and steam these. They're absolutely superb. Just look at that. That's what everybody absolutely loves. And you can do cucumber that way, you do courgettes. Now, by the way, remember you put it on lengthways, so I like these sticks. Okay, long or large, use your hands, small use the guard. So if you've got a whole cucumber, don't go putting that onto the guard. Okay, there you are. It really is that easy. And the last job that everybody absolutely loves, what I want to do, I'm going to dice down an onion. Once again, I'll do a red onion. This could be a red onion salad. If you want a bigger chop than this, quite obviously, use the one with bigger teeth. But all you do now, very simply, once again, just a couple of cuts across there, like so. That's all you have to do for that beautifully perfect dice of onion. You know, as we say in the demonstration, you really haven't got time to cry because that's how fine you can dice anything, but the onion is the worst thing. Just look at that. Perfection at your fingertips. Now, don't forget, if you want to wash it up, that's very easy as well. All you do, very simply, is you just run it under the tap, and you've got the washing up done. There is nowhere for food particles to get trapped. You can let it drain or drip dry. Now, if you didn't buy a storage box, turn these off, send for them because they are superb.